So what's up, motherfuckers? Mark from Diashili here, and so I got a I. I've been getting a couple emails, messages, comments about eBay GSP. That's eBay Global Shipping Program. Um, Jack and I, Jack Pittman and I talked about this when he was here and I wanted to do a video with him about it. So I guess I would do it with him when he gets back because he gets back here next week. But and I, I could have done a Skype with him, but I'll just do this video. So basically, what, so I'll explain what it is and I'll explain why I don't do it, but I might consider doing it. And just give you guys some kind of heads up what you could get out of it. So basically what eBay Global Shipping Program is, is they allow, they give you the ability to ship to a number of countries all around the world. So basically someone from another, you could sell on eBay, someone from another country could purchase from you and you could ship it to their their sh shipping center in the united states and then they would take that to the to whatever country is going to right um i personally don't do it just because asaki no. i personally don't do it just because i make enough money drop shipping in ebay us um, and I don't like looking for problems, but there are advantages to, to it, right? So one thing that I came across when Jack was here is I looked at his numbers. And his re one thing I was worried about is like, inc like really high returns for the shipping overseas. And I forgot, I'm not from the U.S., so I forgot that like customer service in other countries aren't that good especially third world countries, but generally speaking, U.S. customer service is generally higher than other countries. So when you, sh for instance, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. When I buy something from a store, I don't automatically expect to return it if I don't like it or if it's broken. I buy it and I'm kind of stuck with it. And so I, I cannot say f for sure, and again, I'll do the video with Jack so you guys will have some numbers, but I cannot say for sure that's why he hardly gets return from sales overseas, but returns from those sales on his account is actually considerably lower than his sales in the US. So I think that was interesting. Now, another thing that's really fucking cool is that eBay's insurance covers broken items. So if you ship an item overseas and the item breaks, both the buyer and the seller gets their money back because eBay has insurance that covers it, right? And we made a joke, Jack and I made, I made a joke with Jack. It was like a good um, game plan is to only sell fucking plate sets at a cheap price to people overseas so when it breaks, you get your money back. Um, but whatever. So, so that's an interesting thing that you don't even takes away the fact that you have to worry about broken items and that type of stuff from the insurance. So that's really fucking cool. One challenge though is like a lot of times when we ship items a lot of different parts from let's say Walmart or Amazon or wherever, there's a bill there's a chance that the item would be shipped missing and missing a piece. Those situations are not covered by eBay's insurance. And eBay protection so that could be challenging um, and again I want to have this conversation more with Jack so we could so I could ask him some specific questions about how returns are and and all that type of stuff but I've seen other dropshippers who sell at a higher price than everyone else and the reason why they sell is because they target the global shipping program because a lot of people overseas simply cannot buy in the US they can't even buy from walmart.com so he is some of these drop shippers are taking advantage of that and selling at higher prices getting higher margin 20 30 40 percent margins now the 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 the, the volume that you're going to sell the number of items you're going to sell are a lot lower than if you sell in the US but I've seen a lot of dropshippers make those higher uh, margins. So I personally don't dropship with the global shipping program. I may start to play, like, 
Let me not lie, I won't, because I make enough money, I just don't like looking for more problems, more challenges. But I think it is interesting. And in Jack's case, he does this bug thing, right? So um, he's listing 20, 30, 40, 50, 60,000 items. And they, they didn't, I, I don't want to quote it, but I think something like 25 or 30% of his sales are overseas. So that would show you that there is a market and there is space to make money. You see what I'm saying? So anyway, love you guys, Charlie. Well, so that is my thoughts on the Global Shipping Program. Um, I personally don't do it. I see the opportunity there. So if any of you guys watching this do do it or don't or want to have a Skype call about your experience with it, I will gladly have it and share it on the channel. Love you guys, Shabby. We'll make that money. Please subscribe. Trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. I just crossed 6,100 today, I think. Love you guys. Look in the description. There's a lot of cool shit. Cool free mastermind group. Free training. And yeah, have a good one. Later. I didn't get any new tattoo. Yeah, I think I showed you all that tattoo. And I showed you all the um, Wi-Fi tattoo. Because I work on Wi-Fi. So, <laughs>